The Queen Mother once jokingly warned the late Queen Elizabeth against overdoing the booze at lunch. The former monarch had been enjoying the French tipple du bonnet, which she typically had in a cocktail with gin and lemon, and was contemplating having another. The aperitif, owned by Pernod Ricard, is made from a blend of fortified wine, herbs, and spices, including black currant and quinine. The drink, which has an alcohol content of 14. 8% is often described as akin to a sweeter version of Campari. But Daily Express Royal Correspondent Richard Palmer, speaking from Ask a Trace course on the Royal Roundup about the Royal Family's drinking habits, said that the Queen Mother reminded the late Queen that she had better hold back as she had a country to reign over the rest of the day. Queen's footman Tall Paul tasked with sorting through her private documents speaking on the Daily Express's Royal Roundup on June 23, Mr Palmer explained that he did not think the royal family were big drinkers but said, I don't think, they are big drinkers. I mean, no they like a tipple. The Queen Mother is famously supposed to have said to her daughter Queen Elizabeth II when they were lunch somewhere and the Queen was wondering whether to have a second Dubonnet and lemonade. Her mother is alleged to have said to her, Are you sure, darling, because you have got to rain all afternoon? Don't miss. Royals paying tribute to late Queen with brooch code with her vast collection, latest, Princess Kate's subtle outfit tribute to late Queen and logical reason behind it, analysis, Princess Anne Pillar of Strength in First Balmoral Summer Without Queen, Insight, Dubonnet was known as both the Queen Mother and the late Queen's favorite drink. Ahead of an outing, the Queen Mother was widely quoted to have said, I think that I will take two small bottles of Dubonnet and gin with me this morning, in case it is needed. In 2021, the French aperitif was awarded the Royal Warrant. That same year, the Queen was told to give up alcohol by her doctors except for on special occasions. Two sources close to the late monarch told Vanity Fair that the Queen would typically have a martini before bed, the same cocktail said to be a favorite of King Charles. The family friend said, the Queen has been told to give up her evening drink which is usually a martini. They continued, it's not really a big deal for her. She is not a big drinker but it seems a trifle unfair that at this stage in her life she is having to give up one of very few pleasures. But the Queen seemingly heeded her mother's advice throughout her 70-year-long reign as she was rarely seen in public drinking. But palace sources said she would enjoy a drink most evenings and, according to her late cousin Margaret Rhodes, she would occasionally drink a glass of champagne before bed. The new monarch reportedly enjoys a 50-50 martini, half gin and half dry vermouth, as well as the occasional scotch whiskey. Now take